When was the last time you were truly happy? I remember the last time I felt a spark of joy in my empty husk of a soul. That was on the 23rd of February, 1954. This was decades before I was born. And I've been thinking long and hard about why this is the case. Why was the last time I was truly happy well before I was even conceived? And then I realized, life was just so much simpler back then. You didn't have social media, you didn't have the internet, no cell phones, no cars, no electricity, no stone tools. I mean, what more could you want? You'd get born into a family of 15, where most of your siblings wouldn't make it past the age of 5, and then you yourself would succumb to a small cut and die before the age of 30. In my opinion, and as we all know, my opinion is fact, this was the height of the human experience. However, there's a problem here. It is not February in 1954, before the invention of the wheel, and last I checked, we have not yet invented time travel, and I currently have no way of going back and ending the advancement of human technology. So instead, I'm gonna do the next best thing. Crusader Kings 3 is a brand new strategy game set in the 1950s, and so I'm hoping to use it as an experimental platform to prove my point. Today, we're going to bring anarcho-primitivism to the realm of CK3, and we're going to prove that it's a far better way to live than whatever the hell they were doing back then. Now, the real question of the hour is which nation, or rather, which person are we going to trust to, you know, bring an end to human advancement? Since I know how I'm planning to go about this, I know for a fact that I'm going to need to remove the Pope. You'll see why we need to get rid of the Catholic Church soon enough. But if we're going to remove the Pope, we need to be near the Pope. And there's only one quite large nation next to the Pope who will make my life quite a bit easier. I'm, of course, talking about Italy. In our timeline, the Italians are famous for making pasta. Well, in this one, they're going to be famous for bringing an end to human civilization. We're also going to play Italy because they are large enough as a nation um, that even me with my, my monkey brain uh, shouldn't fail. Probably. It, it should be fine. I do see we start at war, um, and I, I don't know who that's with, but I, as long as it's not one of these three up here, I, I think we're going to be fine. But yeah, without any further ado, let's end this. Oh, good. So it looks like we're at war with Bari down here, which that doesn't look so bad. We can we can ignore that. We have much more important things to be doing than messing with Bari. Now, as for lifestyle, although I would get a bonus uh, for stewardship because of my education, my guy here, uh, King Louis II, is going to be going learning because he needs to become a theologian of, of the monkey way. And before we even unpause, the first thing we're going to do is is make anarcho-primitivism. And as I hinted at with the uh, the Pope thing before, it's going to be a religion. CK3 has a very nice uh, religion customization system that we are going to to abuse. Just uh, just real quick here, and I'm sure many of you uh, you sneaky boys out there may have already noticed that the debug mode for this game is on, and that's because in order to make a new Christian faith, you have to pay in piety. And 950 piety, while a lot, is nowhere near enough for what I'm planning to do. So we're going to write a letter to, uh, to to God, and we're going to ask him for some more piety. Dear God, please give me more piety. Oh, look, it worked. Honestly, 65,000 is, uh, that's more than I meant to do, but uh, yeah, it'll be fine. That'll work. So now we're going to make a new Christian faith. Anarcho-primitivism. Did I spell that right? Pr prime, prim... Itivism. Okay, I think that's probably right. Adjective, monkey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not even gonna change that. Yeah, that's correct. One follower is a monkey. To okay, I didn't mean to do that either. Or keeping that in as well. And many monkey is a uh, monkey. Oh no, monkey. Oh yeah, monkey. Is. There we go. As for the faith icon, sadly there are no monkeys in the faith icon selection screen. So I'm gonna go with the next best thing. I'm gonna pick the elephant because if you, you know, if you squint really hard and then, I don't know, pour lemon juice in your eyes, then maybe, maybe the elephant might look like a monkey. Now as for the tenants, we're actually gonna come back to this in a minute because the ones you can pick here depend on your doctrines. We gotta change this stuff first. Now the important things, we're gonna be fundamentalists because we are gonna, we are gonna spread this religion like crazy. And we're also going to be the, uh, the temporal head of the anarcho-primitivism church. Basically it means that Louis here is going to be the, the head of the monkey faith as well and it's gonna pass on to our heir when he dies. Marriage type, um, p p polygamy. Bastards, 
No bastards. Unrestricted marriage. We'll, we'll get back to that. Now, as for crime, um, we're actually going to accept everything on here. I do like how we're kind of, you know, back and forth on the progressive scale. Being gay, yeah, that's fine. But you know what else is fine? Killing your own family members. Oh, and, and witchcraft, of course. All right, that's our doctrine sorted. Let's do the tenets. Now, as we all know, the most important tenet of this faith is, uh, is ritual cannibalism. We also have to take natural primitivism because not only does it have primitivism in the name but it also makes everyone naked so you know uh, that closer closer to our true ape form that's what we want to be and then finally we're going to take uh polyamory i hope i pronounced that right which basically means that extramarital affairs will not give us any negative penalties boy i can't imagine why i would be doing that sadly the catholic church is going to consider us hostile which is uh Oh, well. Oh, but only nine of 16 vassals are going to convert? These guys aren't going to convert. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Debug interactions, you say? Ah, oh, if only it was it was this easy in real life. Yeah, real quick, let's just, uh, let's just make them all like me. It's going to make my life a lot easier if uh, all my vassals don't fight back on the, uh, the conversion here. All right, there we go. That's solved. Now, as you can see, this costs nearly 7,000 piety, which is why I, uh, I, I asked God directly for some piety earlier. But with that, we're going to create the faith. Ah, yes. Monkey. Apparently, Rome is a holy site for anarcho-primitivism. All the monkeys is... <laughs> oh man, I love English. What a what a beautiful language. All right, let's see. What do we? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there's gonna be. There's nothing here. You you don't. There's nothing here. I I promise. There's nothing to see. I'm also going to point out that even after seeing this, I forgot to go and turn on the censorship setting. So instead, I had to sit here and edit in black bars everywhere because everyone I looked at was naked. <laughs> Monkey French. All right, real quick, we're going to unpause and let a day tick. Oh, there we go. The monkey schism. The Catholic clergy have lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. These priests have declared anarcho-primitivism to be the one true faith and, and claim that the only way to show proper devotion is by honoring God with human sacrifices. Yeah, okay. I, I'm down with that. The monkeys is eagerly await for the prophesied arrival of their Pope, a great leader who will rally all of the faithful behind them and usher in a new monkey golden age. This is exactly what I wanted. Like, this is correct. The world will see that God favors us. All right, the world ticked a day. We're, uh, we're gonna find three extra wives real quickly. Why does the line look like that? To the obnoxious King Louis, but he accepted? All right, whatever. Uh, my cousin... Yeah, why not? <laughs> Greetings, cousin. Oh, no. <laughs> don't, don't word it like that. Oh, this guy called me vile. That's nice. You called me vile, but you still let me marry your daughter. <laughs> oh, man. I really wish we had a, a debug mode in real life. The fact that I can just make <laughs> right click, make love me. That's all it takes. What else can I do with the debug menu? Add character weight? What do you mean character weight? Wait, you can genuinely just make people fatter with the debug menu? <laughs> what? No way. Is this for real? Hang on. You can! How fat, how fat can she go? Fatter, fatter, fatter. Oh, I think, okay, that's, that's apparently the limit. Okay. Wait, we can just start a pregnancy from the debug menu? We can select how many we get? <laughs> hold on a minute, hold on a minute. If I, if I have four sets of triplets at the, wait a minute. All right, real quick. Let's just start a triplet pregnancy with all of them. The monkey clan is underway. Oh, we also need to convert these guys um, to our religion real quickly. I don't even need the debug console for that because <laughs> they love me. They'll do it anyway. Eric, we not is converted to a narco primitivism. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, all right. We should probably deal with the war we're in now. So we're going to raise, we're going to raise armies. We're going to march down there. Oh, actually, while this is going on, we should start uh, converting. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is my court chaplain so small? So why is my spy master wearing clothes? Hey, it says you're monkey, but you're wearing clothes. That's some bullshit right there, you poser. <laughs> That's not monkey. All right, we're just gonna march. Can I just march down here? Oh, the answer is no, I need a boat. I do like monkey like spreading like a plague. All right, boys, move in. Oh yeah, they are very, very slightly outnumbered here. Prematurely, no! The wife I made fat through the debug menu <laughs> has had a miscarriage. Ah, yes, a trio, please. I have three number nines. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I got the child. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, it started. Uh. 
Like, could I just name them? Oh no, I could name them all Louie. Yeah, we're gonna name them all Louie. I guess we'll just name all the girls after her mo Oh wait, a good monkey name. Constance? Okay, Constance is a good monkey name, uh, apparently. Oh, there's more. You know what? We're just gonna produce Louis. Like that's not that isn't the goal of today, but I just wanna I wanna make a Louis factory on the on the on the side. Oh wait, I have more children than I thought. I have eleven children already. Oh, there's the Bari army. All right, we're gonna get rid of it. Oh no, we could just enforce demands. I don't know what my demands were. Oh, it was just that. Okay. So I don't think we're ready to kill the Pope just yet. What I wanna do is I wanna just connect up my land a little bit. So we're gonna go with this guy. We're gonna we're gonna take him down. Oh, but we could just use Holy War. Oh wait, de <laughs> debug war. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the Italians have declared war on us. For what reason? Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to war. Dangerous faction. Who? Cisalpine Catholic populists. 23 members. Oh, oh, it's the peasants. Oh no. How does one get rid of a dangerous faction? I could just fight the civil war, right? Because none of my vassals are joining this. It's all peasants. Looks like most people don't want to be monkeys. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, holy shit. There are a lot of them, though. This is fine. It's fine. If you do not want to join the monkey, you will join the grave. Then... Oh, there's actually a lot less peasants than I thought there were. We should be fine, you know? It's fine. The peasants are just hemorrhaging men right now. Uh-oh. All babies cry, but with little Louie, there is no end to the tears. Yeah, which... Which Louie is this? <laughs> oh, and immediately the moment... The moment Louis goes away, two more Louis. Honestly, these Louis are, they're reproducing through fucking osmosis or something. I don't know what's going on. Wait, is it mitosis or osmosis? Which one is the split one? I don't know. I'm a monkey. Hello? Lynx. Yeah, what's up? Is it, is it osmosis or mitosis where they split? Mitosis. Okay, thank you. I'm wearing a monkey costume. Epic. Hell yeah. The osmosis is movement of water across. No, nope, didn't ask. I don't give a shit. Those 4,000. Oh. Oh. And here I thought there were less peasants than that. There are 4,000 of them down there. Wait, that's true. There are no bastards in this religion, so couldn't I just go through my court and start pregnancy on every single person? I require more Louis, and I don't care where they come from. All right, so now the question is, how are we going to deal deal with that? I know how we can deal with that. Leader Ferdinandu won't accept this. Now you listen here, you, you little shit. Do you know what I do to people who don't accept my enforced demands? I take their heads, that's what I do. So this here is, uh, this is Horatio, and, uh, you'll, you'll notice that his, uh, his jaw right here is, uh, is, is broken. And this is because, this is a true story, this isn't a bit, I'm not making this up. I, uh, I, I keep Horatio on my bedside table, and one time during the night, I, I got up to get some water, and I, I knocked him off my bedside table onto the floor. He still hasn't forgiven me for that. We're gonna William Wallace this guy. Honestly, we're gonna get him out. Oh, wait, couldn't we just hire mercenaries? Yeah, we could hire these. Oh, these guys are expensive. Dear God, please give me a small loan of 1,500 gold. Oh, he did. Oh, so nice of him. Okay, now we have enough men. We should be able to, to 1v1 the peasants. Oh, I keep forgetting. These are peasants. I don't think I even needed the mercenary band. Can I just kill the peasants? Yeah, I can. I don't, I did not need the mercenaries at all. Oh, I've got them for three years. Um, I guess we'll send them to go fight that war I started a while ago. <laughs> All right, well, we finally uh, dealt with the Catholic uprising, and we're going to imprison this this bastard. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to leave him in prison for a little while. Let's go finish this other war. My son. Oh my god, what is happening to you? What the hell? Are you okay? What happened? Oh, she's injured. Wait, were you fighting in the battle? You're pregnant with triplets. What were you doing in the battle? <laughs> oh... Wow, what a woman. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't I just was not expecting her to go into battle while pregnant. Oh yeah, wait, aren't we cannibals? How do I eat people? <laughs> How do I eat people? Yeah, with a knife and fork, probably. I mean, I don't know. Oh no, wait, no, no knife and fork. We're not allowed those anymore. We're here to put a halt on, on human advancement. Knives and forks are way out of line. Ah, my sons. Oh, and more. 
Oh, and, and more again. Ah, 46 children. Okay, I see no reason to stop. All right, we're done. The war is over. Heh <laughs> heh. There we go. That's what I like to see. Our house head changed? Prince Carlman. Oh, of East Francia. Okay. I am very much the black sheep of the Carling family right now. 72 living members of the dynasty and at least 50 of them are <laughs> because of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh, yeah, and it started over here as well. He's Louis as well. Your son and grandson. He's a wild oat. Oh, he's born out of wedlock. Okay, he's not He's not a plant. That, that's good to know. I can found a holy order? Wait a minute. Wait, can we do a monkey crusade? Oh, we are founding a holy order. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, they're the Knights Templar? Like the actual Knights Templar. But they're naked. Oh my god, I love this so much. What in the hell? Oh wait, hang on a minute. We need to look at my dungeon, actually, because there, there are some people in there that I want to look at. Yeah, there he is. There's... <laughs> look, he loves me. So if he's in love with me, I can torture? Move to dungeon. He's gonna lose 75 opinion of me. Wait, so he's still gonna be positive? <laughs> Damn, I don't know. Maybe he's a masochist. As for you, who are you? Who are you and where did you come from? Oh, she came from over here. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know, I'll, I'll let you go. For 10 gold? Wow. Oh, it had to be done. <laughs> Look at his face. The sound when bones and sinews snap is quite unforgettable. Outliving a child. No! Rest in peace, little Louis. Ah. Create head of faith title. Oh. So not only do I need to take Rome, I need another religious location. What's the easiest one? Oh, do you know what it is? I know what it is. It's invading Lotharingia here. Because these guys are busy collapsing, and apparently... Is that Cologne? Yeah. Cologne is a is a monkey holy site. I, I, I don't know why I don't think monkeys would ever wear Cologne, but here we are. All right, so we need to take Rome, and we need to take this. Okay, I got it. Well, I think first things first, we're just going to declare war on the Pope. He has no allies, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use a real Cassus Belly this time, and we're gonna take we're just gonna take Rome. Oh damn, the Pope has a lot of men though. This will be a pretty big battle, but you know what? It'll be fine. What? My wife was murdered. Oh, she wasn't murdered. She was she died in bat. She was still pregnant. <laughs> My God, she is just she's incredible. Repeatedly going into battle while pregnant with repeated triplets is is that's just admirable. Oh my god, again? I can't believe it. This I lost two wives. Why are all of my wives fighting in battles while pregnant? What's going on? All right, there we go. The Pope's army has been defeated. Let's stack wipe him. Go. <laughs> in the county of Lanciano, they believe in Catholicism and they do not pray to God. Oh, oh okay, okay. I get, I get it now. It's because for us, monkey god is god god. Whereas Catholic God is not God, because it's monkey God. And I really, I'm glad I don't make tutorials for anything anymore, because I, I can't speak in coherent sentences. <laughs> you know what, let's just leave him over there. We're going to go siege down the, uh, we're going to siege Rome. If we take Rome, I think we can just enforce our demands. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, we can invent glasses? Oh, wait a minute, no. No, we can't invent glasses. That's against the, that's against our ways. That's it, we can, we're going to do the only thing we can. Sell everything which is impossible to read. I only read things in 24 point font now. Oh, more babies. St. Peter's Basilica is gonna be St. Monkey Basilica before the end of this. There we go. Whoa, wait, I got the Pope? I got the Pope, right? That's it. And force demands. Oh, what a shame. He's gone. Italy's looking pretty good now. You know, we've got, we've got a lot of what we need. But most importantly, we now have control of a holy site. We need one more and then we, we can become the head of the faith. Well, hang on. This guy is my brother, right? And his primary heir is this child, this nephew? Oh, because all of the, his first five kids are all illegitimate. I'm second in line. Aha. So, simple. We kill the child. Then we kill him. We get the holy site. We become the monkey pope. All right, so we need first the child must go. Or actually, it might be easier if we kill him first. Let's try. I'm not going to use the debug console for this. I'm going to do this properly. Who can we invite? Bribe. 
Who else? That looks like it's it. But success chance is 95% and that is the max. To the loathsome King Louis, we will not stand for your vile oppression of good Cisalpine. Oh, not the Cisalpine Catholics again. Why is it always the Cisalpine ones? Oh, they're doing it again. Okay, fine. I gotta get further south. Most of the peasants are down there. There we go. That's the main peasant force gone. Is that, is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, because we got their leader. Well, you know what we do with uh, with peasant rebel leaders. First, you'll be my lover. And then we uh, put you in the torture chamber. All right, now that's the second time we've had the peasant problem. Oh, good. Uh, yet another county has uh, converted to the one true fate. This guy is terrifying. Uh-oh. No. Uh, I don't know what that's about. I'll read that in a second. Shit. It's exposed. Wait, but it still has 95% secrecy and success chance. Oh, because yeah, my three agents are just just that good okay i guess it, it might even though he knows he's gonna get murdered it might still happen what is this about oh my god there is so much wrong with this one event so basically this is like when you have too many lovers in the game the game is kind of telling you it's you're having a hard time juggling all of them but the the problem with this is two of them are are a former peasant rebel leaders who have both been brutally tortured and have been locked in jail the whole time which makes it very confusing because here it says he's you know gazing at the stars alongside carlo who has been in jail for years and you know endless arguments with this guy but then the third person is also my daughter well daughter heir and vessel <laughs> She's, she holds all the cards you know should i just gain stress oh no that'll put me to critical okay we're just, yeah we're just gonna have to let carlo go i guess i had completely forgotten these two were <laughs> he's been in here for six years <laughs> wait if he's been in here for six years that means i can torture him again right oh hell yeah uh-oh I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Lothair. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I read <laughs> I read that wrong. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I, need a, I need a new plan. Oh. Well done, Judith. Oh, relief washes over me as I see Judith running around with all the other children. I really like that, like, high dramatic music like yeah great she lost sickly but i don't know which judith you are <laughs> i'm only 41 years old oh is it time again oh shit it is oh you're gonna get killed by peasants if this works are you all right here we go 95 percent chance <laughs> ah yes the peasants have succeeded this pleases the monkey god which should now mean that's what i thought king louis is now the primary heir now all i gotta do is kill my four-year-old nephew oh my god disastrous mistreatment so the doctor did so badly on one of my daughters that she she lost a leg uh, i think i've reached critical straight yeah i did god i love that alarm that goes off when you <laughs> when you become overstressed wait sorry what was that did i just read that the person who accidentally cut the leg off one of my daughters is now a novice physician. Wait, so if you're a novice physician now, what were you before? Did I just let some random woman into the castle and she hacked off my child's leg? What's going on? What does my family tree look like right now? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, it's a bit laggy. Oh, it goes off the screen! From all the way over there to all the way over here. Oh, one of my wives died again. All right, so now we're... Oh. Can I just do that? Seriously? Oh yeah, right. I am trying to murder my nephew while this is happening. All right, 39% chance. Ah, fuck. But first you don't succeed. Try, try again. Oh, there we go. We have a daughter wife now. Oh, he's lost in the forest again. How the hell is a six-year-old getting out of the castle and getting lost in the woods? Oh, because one of my agents lured him out there. Yeah, okay, that explains it. And is he gonna die this time? Hooray, a mangled core. <laughs> and with that, we have successfully annexed uh, this ridiculously ugly line. We have stuff on the coast, like, next to the North Sea up here. Now, this should mean... Oh, yeah. That's it. I am the monkey god. Louis declared Pope. Oh. Oh, you love to see it. Oh. With the faithful finally unified behind me, I will lead anarcho-primitivism into a new golden age. <laughs> Looks so dumb. <laughs> just naked except for the cape and the pope hat yep glory to god increased fervor right well i think at this stage i have more or less completed my goal with catholicism in decline and the monkey moon rising the era where humanity constantly improves itself has come to an end thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time